So what makes a right triangle? Well, a right angle. What else? A right triangle is just a triangle that has one 90 degree angle. No matter the size or orientation of the triangle, as long as it has a right angle, it's a right triangle. Every right triangle is made up of two legs, which are the sides that meet at a 90 degree angle and a line that connects them. The side opposite the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of the right triangle. This makes sense since we know that the longest side of a triangle is always opposite the biggest angle. And in a right triangle, the biggest angle is always 90 degrees. One type of problem the SAT may ask you to solve is to find the missing side of a right triangle. To do that, you might remember that you need to use the Pythagorean theorem. It's given in the formula box at the beginning of each math section, but let's look at an example so you know how to use it. What is the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle with legs of lengths 5 and 12? Here are your answer choices. A12, B13, C14, and D15. Let's draw a right triangle to make this easier on ourselves. According to the question, we know that the triangle has legs of lengths 5 and 12. To find the missing side of our triangle, we need to plug into the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. For any triangle with sides a, b, and c, where a and b are legs and c is the hypotenuse. In our example, we can set a equal to 5 and b equal to 12, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared becomes 5 squared plus 12 squared, or 169. To solve for c, just take the square root of both sides to get c equals 13. The correct answer is answer choice b. If you need to solve for a side other than the hypotenuse, you still can. Just remember that you need to be sure to label your sides as a, b, and c, and to plug in carefully. Note that the Pythagorean theorem works on all kinds of right triangles. Even this next one, where the sides of the triangle are in a ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. In this example, 3 and 4 are legs of the triangle, and 5 is the hypotenuse. So a 3, 4, 5 triangle may have sides of 3, 4, and 5. But it might also have sides of 6, 8, and 10, since those sides would be in the same ratio. Now, let's use that information to solve an example problem. What is the value of x? The answer choices here are a, 25, b, 20, c, 17, and d, 15. I know what you're thinking. And while we could solve this by using the Pythagorean theorem, we just said we're going to use the rules of 3, 4, 5 triangles to solve this question. So let's set up a ratio. Here's our triangle again. Let's take a look at the sides that we do know, 9 and 12. We can say that those sides are in a ratio of 9 to 12 to x. If we simplify that ratio by dividing the ratio by 3, we get that our sides are in a ratio of 3 to 4 to x over 3. Since we know now that any right triangle with legs of 3 and 4 has a hypotenuse of 5, we can set x over 3 equal to 5. If we solve for x by multiplying both sides by 3, we get x equals 15. Let's check our math. Is the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 the same as the ratio of 9 to 12 to 15? Well, if we multiply the first ratio by 3, it equals the second. Answer choice D is the correct choice. But be careful. Just because you see the numbers 3, 4, or 5 on a right triangle doesn't mean that you can use this rule. The hypotenuse must always be a multiple of 5, while the legs are always multiples of 3 and 4. We can also use right triangles to solve for the area of a triangle whose height is not contained in the triangle. As long as the base and the height of any given triangle are the same, then we can say that their areas are the same as well. In this lesson, we learned about the attributes of right triangles, solving for the missing side by using the Pythagorean theorem, the properties of 3, 4, 5 triangles, and solving for the area of a triangle when the height is not contained within the figure. Now let's put this lesson to the test with a pause and solve. We'll take a look at a problem, then you can solve it on your own before we go through it together. Here's the question. If the perimeter of rectangle ABCD in the following figure is 18, what is the length of BD? The answer choices are A, 3, B, the square root of 13, C, 3 times the square root of 2, and D, 3 times the square root of 5. Now it's your turn. Ready, set, pause. We're back. 
Did you get answer choice D? Let's work through this problem together and see how we can get to the right answer. As always, the first step is to underline the facts, circle the key words, and label the answer choices. Now let's see if there's anything we can do with the picture. The question tells us ABCD is a rectangle, so we know that AB equals CD, which means they both have a length of X. And we know that AD equals BC, so they both have a length of 2X. The question tells us that the perimeter of the rectangle is 18. So x plus x plus 2x plus 2x equals 18. A bit of addition, and we get 6x equals 18. And then by dividing both sides by 6, we find that x equals 3. Look at that. Answer choice A. That would be great, except the question isn't asking us to solve for x. It's asking us for the length of BD. And BD is clearly longer than x. Always make sure you're answering the question, not just doing the math. Since we know x equals 3, let's plug that into the picture, which gives us sides of 3 and 6. Now, we've only been looking at the rectangle so far, but we have another shape we can work with, a right triangle. BD is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and the legs are equal to 3 and 6. A quick application of the Pythagorean theorem, and we'll be on our way to bubbling in the correct answer. As we know, when we're working with right triangles, a squared plus b squared equals c squared when c is the hypotenuse. So 3 squared plus 6 squared equals the length of bd squared. 9 plus 36 equals bd squared. Add our terms to find 45 equals bd squared, which means bd equals the square root of 45. Except, looking at our answer choices, root 45 isn't an option. We need to simplify root 45. We need to find a factor of 45 that can be easily square rooted. 9 would fit the bill. So the square root of 45 equals the square root of 9 times 5. We can separate that into the square root of 9 times the square root of 5, which means 3 times the square root of 5 equals BD. And yes, that's in our answer choices. Circle D. I know that's a lot to remember, but I promise all this knowledge will pay off with practice. Watch out for right triangles as you go through your test. Recognizing them can make your life easier and can help boost your score. Although we are at the end of this lesson, your work is not done. Try solving some practice problems to solidify your learning.